In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct the Welch's F-test and the Brown Forsyth F-test, two very useful statistics because they neither assume homogeneity of variance or equal sample sizes, so they're really a great resource for those cases where you do have unequal variances and unequal sample sizes for a one-way between subjects design. Before I carry on, I'm just going to point out that in the previous video, I actually did separate descriptive statistics. And you're always going to want to undo that before you do any other analyses, assuming they have nothing to do with separate groups. So you've got to go into uh, your split file utility and make sure you're analyzing all cases. So to conduct the, to test the null hypothesis of equal means across all three groups related to the driving simulator study, texting, eating, and control group, you go into analyze, compare means, one way ANOVA, put your dependent variable in the dependent list, and the group variable in the factor box and click on options and let's do the homogeneity test to see that the uh, assumption of homogeneity of variance has been violated and here you can click on brown forsyth and the welch's test they're both very similar tests with very similar benefits so click on continue and click on ok and here we get the homogeneity of variance test right here and we can see that it's statistically significant, p less than 0 0.001, with an f value of 13.65 and 2 and 183 degrees of freedom. Here's the regular one-way between subjects ANOVA, which you should be ignoring. And here are the robust tests of equality of means. So the Welch's f statistic is 8.745 with 2 and 82.33 degrees of freedom. That's not a mistake. Part of the adjustment that the Welch applies is a degree of freedom adjustment, and that's how it helps protect against increasing the alpha rate, which we want to be alpha equal 0 0.05. And so here we've got the significance level, which is less than 0 0.05. In fact, it's less than 0 0.001. And here's the Brown Forsyth version of a homogeneity of variance assumption not accepted and unequal sample sizes. Uh, situation. I should say that these two statistics will work if the sample sizes are equal, and it'll even work if the homogeneity of variance assumption is satisfied. So it, they're really good all-round statistics that arguably we should be using on a regular basis, but we, we don't. We tend to use this unless we have a problem, and then if we have a problem, we might use this. And this one's also statistically significant. The brown Forsyth is rejecting the null hypothesis of equal means across the three groups, which I actually didn't even show you. Let's actually get those descriptives, options, descriptives. And here they are here. And you can see that the texting group has a really large standard deviation of 4.45. And the eating and control groups have much smaller standard deviations, which is the reason why the homogeneity of variance assumption got violated to begin with. But we can still reject the null hypothesis of equal means across all three groups because these robust tests are statistically significant. We would just choose one or the other. You wouldn't report both.